Uh, just scrapped out three computers because I'm bored. Just chilling out in my back room with Brian. And yeah, three computers. It was pretty damn amazing. There's my little steel pile I filled one case up with and a couple of cases from the other day. But of the three computers, obviously, three motherboards, I didn't think to film it and I started depopulating this one already. I ripped off all the gold corner BGAs and anything that I liked. And then I just stopped because I couldn't be bothered really right now. Still got ICs and a whole heap of other things to take off. Just little ICs like that. and Still got the motherboard, oh, the uh, CPU socket with the pins to take off. and Yeah, all the gold pins and everything around, still got to do that. But I couldn't be bothered doing it until I've got less on my hands. Here's the other two boards. This one is a Pentium 2. I haven't seen one in ages. Actually, I've got three of them at home now, including this one. The other two actually work, so I didn't scrap them. And I just think they're cool to have in my room. Like old school computers, why not? I wouldn't mind having a whole collection. Pentium 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever. <laughs> why not? Anyway, there's Gold Corner BGAs. That's my favourite thing of all e waste. Here's a little. Uh, what a lot of people will call an EEPROM because it's an IC that pops out actually this one is an EEPROM I can feel underneath the sticker there there's a little glass round window if there's a glass round window under them it means it's an EEPROM a lot of people think they're EEPROMs just because you can pull it out it's not actually soldered in actually I'll cut myself if I try that but yeah I can feel this one does have the glass window so I may have missed said it's not an EEPROM I think it might actually be now that I've spoke too soon uh, is it in there? No, no, I'm wrong. There you go. Where is it? Uh, there, yeah. See, no glass window. It does pull out of the socket. It doesn't mean it's an EEPROM. EEPROMs have a glass window, and you can see the gold or the silver inside. But it's still a really good IC. Here's another board. This one I was surprised about because look at the RAM on it. I've never seen RAM like that in my life. You probably can't get a good view, but from above, look how fat the ICs are on two RAM sticks. And they're tiny, like. I'll find a normal RAM stick. Let's compare it. There. They're a lot shorter. <laughs> look, I'll put a chip next to a chip. Jeez. Turn it sideways. Yeah, chip next to chip. <laughs> Weirdest RAM I've ever seen. Oh well. But I like this board because this one I can feel under that one. This one actually does have the gold. I want I might not say that actually. I'll peel it off and have a look. See if it has the window. Oh, these stickers are so old they're not gonna come off very cooperatively. Oh it doesn't matter anyway. I can feel a round piece glass under there yeah you might even be able to see my fingernails denting the circle oh there is a round circle right under there so this is an EEPROM the one next to it's not even though it pops out but I thought this was pretty amazing because just from these three computers well here's the three motherboards and Brian how you doing boy I got this many slot cards. Here's a riser. This riser had one card in it. I don't remember which one. I think it might have been that one there actually. Or that one. Well, it doesn't matter. But yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six slot cards. Seven, eight, nine slot cards. <laughs> one normal RAM. One weird big fat RAM. One normal RAM. They're only tiny, like 500 megabytes. I'll get rid of it. One green fiber CPU, I think it's a 775. Uh, oh, it's a SL5X, Celeron, Intel. And now I've got my first black fiber. Black fiber. Intel Pentium something. Oh, the flash on my camera is not going to let you see it. But yeah. My first black fiber. Actually, it's not even fiber, it's ceramic. I can feel it in my hand. It's way too cold. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, I just bit it. It's ceramic. My first ceramic CPU. Green fiber. 
not so great except for the pins. Ceramic. I don't know why they're more expensive. They probably used higher gold in them, but if you look at them on eBay, they sell through the roof. They sell for like 50 times the amount of gold that's even in them. People are just not all there, I guess. But yeah. Oh, well, I'm happy about that. It's going in my collection after I clean it up. The Pentium 2 processor. <laughs> I might add this one to my collection, seeing as my other, my other two Pentium 2s actually work. I might keep one of them for my collection and I'll sell one of them to someone who wants to collect them. Or just give one of them to one of my mates who's into cool old school gaming or something. I'm not very good with computer games or things like that. I don't know much about them, but I've got mates that are into old cool stuff. Yeah, and one heatsink. <laughs> oh, it's a nice quality heatsink, so. I like my extruded alley. Yeah. That board that I've depopulated. Added some flat packs to my big flat pack jar. Added some ICs to my IC jar. And I added BGAs to my gold BGA jar. Pins, palladium, higher grade pins, pins still in sockets, fingers, as in gold fingers, tantalum, and there's some weird little boards in that back one. They're actually made of aluminium, the, and they've got blob top BGAs, which are beautiful BGAs containing gold. Yeah, it's all getting there. Just my little pile, building up, building up. Once I fill up every single jar, that's when I'll start actually getting the acids out and doing some refining. Things like this. I want to save up a kilo of them before I even start, because a kilo of them has... 12 to 15 grams of gold. These I might save up three kilos before I start doing it, but I'll do them half a kilo to a kilo at a time. Same as that, half a kilo to a kilo at a time. Same as this, half a kilo to a kilo at a time. They're much lower yielding, much lower yielding. This is my highest. That's why I love the gold BGAs so much. Highest yielding of anything in, anything really. But tip a few out and get these a geese. tip them all out there's a lot of broken ones in there see broken it's actually the top that the plastic cap on top that contains most of the gold the, like here's all these little caps they're the bit that's the bit with the gold in it it's got gold bond wires 24 karat bond wires so don't lose anything like that try not to break them when you break them off but when you uh, process them for the gold you got to separate them anyway you got to break the tops off yeah yeah this uh Black plastic gets processed much differently to the bottom. The bottom's got bugger all in it anyway. Well, it's still got a fair bit in it, just compared to the black top. There's a lot in those black tops. Yeah. Every single one of these is a black top gold corner. I don't mix mine. Uh, don't want to lose the tops. But yeah. Flip them over and they look prettier. about a quarter of a kilo there. Actually, I weighed it a while ago, it was 300 grams, and I've doubled the size, so it's probably about 500 grams there, 450 grams, so not quite double the size, but I've got a lot more to depopulate off boards anyway, so let's get in there. Get in there with me gold BGAs. I love them. If you don't, you're mad. <laughs> Only joking. You don't have to love gold BGAs. You can put your time into something much more productive. But me, I'm just a hobby worker, hobby scrapper. So it's all worth my time, seeing as my time's free. I only don't do this during working hours, because obviously scrapping doesn't keep me afloat. I have to work full time. Even my copper drawer is getting a bit more full. It was pretty empty, seeing as I had to scrap everything to pay a few bills, but yeah. Here's some more semi depopulated boards ready to go. Taking the gold BJs off them. But I've still got to get everything else off of them, which is going to be a bit of a nightmare. Because there's a lot of boards here. There's a hell of a lot more boards in my, my house, actually. Which I haven't even touched, but we'll get there. Won't we, Brian? We'll get there? Yeah. Say goodbye. Can you sit? Show them how you can sit. Good boy. Can you show them how you shake hands? Shake. Give us a shake. Give me a shake. Why are you scared of the camera? Shake. Give me a shake. Good boy.
Good boy. Oh, the light's in your eyes. I'm sorry. All right, that's what it is. The light's shining in his eyes and he's sus on me. All right, let's go. Let's go, mate. Let's go. We're finished working today. All right, catch us all later.